find integer n, such that n plus 1 all squared, plus 2 n plus 1 all squared, is a perfect square. We let n plus 1 all squared, plus 2 n plus 1 all squared, equal t squared, where t is a positive integer. Expand the square terms, and rearrange the equation, we have, 5 n squared, plus 6 n, plus 2 minus t squared, equals 0. This is a quadratic equation in n. So the discriminate delta equals, b squared, minus 4 ac. Where a equals 5, b equals 6, and c equals 2 minus t squared. So we can now write, equals 6 squared, minus 4 times 5, times 2 minus t squared. Which is equal to, negative 4, plus 20 t squared. Which can be written as, 4 times, 5 t squared minus 1. So n equals negative b, plus or minus root delta, over 2a. As delta equals, 4 times 5 t squared minus 1. So n equals, negative 6, plus or minus 2 times, root of, 5 t squared minus 1, over 2 times 5. Divide the numerator and the denominator by 2, so n equals, negative 3, plus or minus root of, 5 t squared minus 1, over 5. As n is an integer, so 5 t squared minus 1, must be a perfect square. So we let 5 t squared minus 1, equal m squared, where m is a non-negative integer. So now n can be written as, negative 3, plus or minus m, over 5. Rearrange the equation, we have, m squared, minus 5 t squared, equals negative 1. This is a negative Pell's equation. If we carry out a substitution, it can be converted to a Pell's equation. We let m equal, 2u plus 5v, and t equal, u plus 2v, where u and v are non-negative integers. Substitute m and t in equation 2, we have, 2u plus 5v all squared, minus 5 times, u plus 2v all squared, equals negative 1. 2u plus 5v all squared, equals 4u squared, plus 20uv, plus 25v squared. u plus 2v all squared, equals u squared, plus 4uv, plus 4v squared. 4u squared, minus 5u squared, equals negative u squared. 20uv, and negative 20uv, cancel. 25v squared, minus 20v squared, equals 5v squared. So we can now write, negative u squared, plus 5v squared, equals negative 1. Multiply the equation by negative 1, we have, u squared, minus 5v squared, equals 1. This is a Pell's equation. We know that 9 4 is the minimal solution of equation 3. Therefore, all non-negative integer solutions, uk vk, are given by uk, plus vk times root 5, equals 9 plus 4 root 5 all to the power of k, where k equals 0, 1, 2, and so on. Once we find a solution uk vk of equation 3, we can work out, mk equals, 2 uk, plus 5 vk, and tk equals, uk, plus 2 vk. Then from equation 1, we can find n. nk equals negative 3, plus or minus mk, over 5, where k equals 0, 1, 2, and so on. So the given problem has infinitely many integer solutions. For example, when k equals 0, then u0, plus v0 root 5, equals 9 plus 4 root 5 all to the power of 0, which is 1. So u0 equals 1, and v0 equals 0. Then m0 equals, 2 times 1, plus 5 times 0, which is equal to 2 and t0 equals, 1 plus 2 times 0, which is equal to 1. So n0 equals, negative 3, plus or minus 2, over 5. Note that negative 3, plus 2, over 5, is not an integer. And discard it. So n0 equals, negative 3, minus 2, over 5. Which is negative 1. Now substitute n equals negative 1, in the given algebraic expression, we have, negative 1, 
plus 1 all squared, plus 2 times negative 1, plus 1 all squared, which is equal to 1 squared. So n0 equals negative 1, is a solution. When k equals 1, then u1, plus v1 root 5, equals 9 plus 4 root 5. So u1 equals 9, and v1 equals 4. We have already known that, this is actually the minimal solution of the Pell's equation. Then m1 equals, 2 times 9, plus 5 times 4, which is equal to 38, and t1 equals, 9 plus 2 times 4, which is equal to 17. So n1 equals, negative 3, plus or minus 38, over 5. Note that negative 3, minus 38, over 5, is not an integer. And discard it. So n1 equals, negative 3, plus 38, over 5. Which is 7. Now substitute n equals 7, in the given algebraic expression, we have, 7 plus 1 all squared, plus 2 times 7, plus 1 all squared, which is equal to 64, plus 225, which is equal to, 289, which is 17 squared. So n1 equals 7, is a solution. When k equals 2, then u2, plus v2 root 5, equals 9 plus 4 root 5 all squared, which is equal to, 161, plus 72 root 5. So u2 equals 161, and v2 equals 72. Then m2 equals, 2 times 161, plus 5 times 72, which is equal to 682, and t2 equals, 161, plus 2 times 72, which is equal to, 305. So n2 equals, negative 3, plus or minus 682, over 5. Note that negative 3, plus 682, over 5, is not an integer. And discard it. So n2 equals, negative 3, minus 682, over 5. Which is negative 137. Now substitute n equals negative 137, in the given algebraic expression, we have, negative 137, plus 1 all squared, plus 2 times negative 137, plus 1 all squared, which is equal to 18,496, plus 74,529, which is equal to, 93,025, which is 305 squared. So n2 equals, negative 137, is a solution. When k equals 3, then u3, plus v3 root 5, equals 9 plus 4 root 5 all cubed, which is equal to, 2,889, plus 1,292 root 5. So u3 equals 2,889, and v3 equals 1,292. Then m3 equals 2 times 2,889, plus 5 times 1,292, which is equal to 12,238, and t3 equals 2,889, plus 2 times 1,292, which is equal to 5,473. So n3 equals negative 3 plus or minus 12,238, over 5. Note that negative 3, minus 12,238, over 5, is not an integer. And discarded. So n3 equals, negative 3, plus 12,238, over 5. Which is equal to, 2,447. Now substitute n equals, 2,447, in the given algebraic expression, we have, 2,447, plus 1 all squared, plus 2 times, 2,447, plus 1 all squared, which is equal to, 5,992,704, plus 23,961,000, and 25, which is equal to, 
3,729,950,3,729, which is 5,473 squared. So N3 equals 2,447 is a solution. So the problem has infinitely many integer solutions. Example solutions are negative 1, 7, negative 137, 2447.